Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Learn Plays The Binding of Isaac. Big, well, spoilers! Three, two, one, big win! On that last run. It's a win that, you know, a lot of people will just look at the final statistics, they'll be like, Mom's knife, yeah, got carried, GG, well done, Northern Lion, scumbag. Well, we had to survive long enough to get Mom's knife, and that was actually... I mean, surviving wasn't that hard on the last run, I guess what I'm saying is fuck me. No, what I'm saying is that, you know, that last run was tough. But we made it work uh, through survival long enough to actually get an item that would allow us to beat the game. Because we were in a very good defensive position with Nun's Habit and Book of Revelations combined. We were Eve, though. Uh, but we were in a terrible, terrible offensive position. It got very lucky to get uh, an item good enough to carry us. And it didn't happen until the deal with the Devil Room on the uh, very last opportunity, well, very last likely opportunity for that to show up. So. Uh, pretty much won that one by the skin of our teeth. We also then got a, well, maybe not after, but we got a sun card and a one-up, which pretty much guaranteed us the win. Uh, but it was looking really dire, with its finger and its thumb in the shape of a wire on its forehead. No, seriously, it was, uh, that was a tough one. But we made it work, and on this one, Fat Odd Mushroom to start with, lowers our rate of fire a little bit, which sucks, but increases our HP and increases our damage. It's, uh, a no-brainer pickup as far as I'm concerned. Now, we're in, uh, like, my favorite position to be fighting Duke of Flies on the first floor, and that's a position where we have a lot of, uh, disposable bombs, and we can use them accordingly in order to speed the fight up. Otherwise, I would probably be pretty likely to take damage, which I don't want to do, and we can afford to use the bombs, so why not? Now, we get a range upgrade, which gets rerolled into the crate, which is substantially better, even though, you know, I, I, the crate I enjoy, it's not amazing. Let's see what we get here. Hey, that's worth it, I guess. Um... It, it's better than a range upgrade, let's just put it that way. We got a speed upgrade and then all of these other kind of interstitial things or, you know, you know what I mean. Other good stuff. High Priestess card is the one that's, uh, you, you could save it for later. I think that's not the worst idea, not even a bad idea. But I will probably end up using High Priestess card as soon as we find our boss on this floor. Because I want to give myself the highest percentage chance possible of getting a deal with the devil, and I think being aggressive with this card, which could one-hit KO a boss, technically. I'm totally taking this HP, by the way. Um, but yeah, being aggressive with uh, this card, which could one-hit KO the boss, gives me a very, very good chance of making that happen. So, uh, High Priestess is not going to be a big help on this room, but Lard is a huge pick pickup for us, and it's completely feasible that we will have 7 HP by the end of the second floor, which is absolutely crazy, especially considering we didn't get an HP upgrade from our first boss, which you would not expect to happen. Um, at, at least you would not expect to be at 7 HP without getting, you know, an HP upgrade from boss number one. But anyway, I'm excited by the way this is going and very ready to trade some of this uh, easily gotten... HP back to the uh, back to the game in exchange for some high damage items and maybe we can have a run that is a little bit more comfortable than the last one because the last one I was uncomfortable a little bit I'm willing to admit that not uncomfortable like crawling out of my skin but uncomfortable like it takes forever to actually kill an enemy holy crap somebody up there likes me right now With no keys means I'm not gonna open up this uh, golden chest if we get some keys I may uh, change my tune there but not yet. I'm not going to deal with this room until we actually manage to go through with our whole uh, plan here of trading our HP to the devil. We could conceivably have 8 HP by the end of this floor if we don't end up trading any. And of course, you know, we, the largest test comes right before uh, the actual place where I need to not take damage by. Okay, we got two of them dead. Might as well shoot the fire just so I have a little bit more room to dodge through the center of the map. Be cool. Be cool. I can't believe they all got immolated right off the very back. But that's okay. Good. Good, okay. Who do we have? Uh, Gemini means High Priestess should work. It worked totally fine. HP upgrade I'll totally pick up, even though Stem Cells is kind of shitty. It's uh, an HP upgrade nonetheless. So, my thinking is that we do pick up Guppy's head. It's a huge price to pay, but we have the HP necessary to back it up. And then we reroll these. And we get the nail and Guppy's tail. So I basically traded... Uh, I can't pick up the nail anyway, but I basically traded 2 HP for 2 guppy items. Considering I have as much HP as I do right now, I'll have 6 when I leave this floor. I feel pretty solid about that. I feel like that worked out pretty well. So now all we need to do is be super aggressive about trying to find guppy items, and that'll give us a great chance to become everybody's favorite kitty. Thank God the, uh, room is... well, the secret room is adjacent here. I really don't... Ah, oh, now I do. Now I will. Now that we have seven cents, we might be able to buy an item. At the very least, maybe buy a key. 
for the next floor, so we don't have to go through this again. So yeah, we're not going to be able to buy the coin purse unless we get a dime out of this fire, which is pretty unlikely, but we can at least buy a key, and that'll open things up for us on the next floor. Good stuff, okay. And now we can go to the mob trap room as well, and actually it's possible we might have had enough money to get the coin purse, but uh, I, I might have misplayed it a little bit. If we get a lot of keys, though, we'll open up this golden chest. The dream is not dead yet. Let's see what we've got in here. It's a single pill. I never know when to take unknown pills in situations where, you know, the order in which you take them might be important. I'm gonna take it after this room, though. And even if it's bad trip, it won't, uh, it won't cost me my eternal heart, which is the most important thing to, to keep, uh, like, precious right now. And you should be dead in one more hit. Oh, one more hit now. Okay... There we go. And another key, so we will open this golden chest and... This is how it works sometimes. Seams get opened. We even got another key back. Totally could have bought that coin purse, but I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Our pill ended up being a tears upgrade. I would say this has been a very, very good floor. Again! Uh, we're leaving with a decent amount of money. Plenty of keys. We picked up 2 HP, traded 2 HP away in exchange for 2 Guppy items, which don't give me too much benefit yet. Um, but Guppy's ta- oh my god, there's another eternal heart there for the cost of a bomb. Oh no, now I can't get to it unless I can fly. Probably should have targeted this guy first. Oh well. Um, anyway, there's lots of stuff happening. It's good stuff. I'm happy about it. There go my spirit hearts. Oh no, okay. Well, I took 3 damage from a single ball sack fly, which makes me the worst Binding of Isaac player in the world. Abel's dog shit, but we're gonna start by going into our curse room, because we've already taken red heart damage anyway. And, uh, yeah, this is fine. Rather than lose more HP, I am totally okay using a bomb to make our way out of here. I thought maybe I could go into the curse room and reroll something into a guppy item. No such luck, though. So Abel gets rerolled into the Forget Me Now. Talked about Forget Me Now a lot. I think the Forget Me Now is a shittier D6. Essentially what you're doing is re-rolling the entire floor once, and that's it. We can get way more out of the, uh, the D6 than we can uh, out of Forget Me Now. That's not to say it's always useless. If you're on like the last floor, the chest, and y you get a, uh, a Forget Me Now, it can actually be kind of nice. Because you can re-roll, or you can get all the items out of the chest and then get four more golden chests, and you're not going to want to take the D6 into the boss fight most of the time anyway. Cool, more bombs, more money. Let's try to stop taking so much dumb damage. That would be a good help for me. And we'll totally buy Mom's purse. You know, it's no map, it's no compass, but it helps out. I'm happy to have it. Let's continue moving on here. Uh, this is gonna hurt. That's why I didn't want to lose any HP that was not absolutely fucking necessary earlier, because we've found ourselves in an unfortunately difficult position here. If we don't get hit against the boss, we could still snag a deal with the devil. It's just a, it's a much less likely spawn. Probably looking at like one-third chance is how I usually approximate it at least. With another reroll, uh, we'll definitely take that back down to our item room. Where are we gonna find guppy items? Deal with the devil at this point. Not gonna find it in the curse room obviously because we've already been there and it sucked. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get that eternal heart either. Unless we find a deal with the devil that actually has a flying item, which would be nice. Man, Monster Manuel is so bad. Brother Bobby for one room. Anyway, uh, yeah, if we get an ability to fly from a deal with the devil, we might want to be super aggressive, because it's, if it's a one hard deal with the devil, for Spirit of the Night or something, it pays for itself instantly by going back and getting that eternal heart. Uh, similarly, if it's a two hard deal, well, it's actually only a one hard deal because of what we can get, but um, that's, you know, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. We're going to be pretty lucky to just get any deal with the devil at this point. And the most important thing is, uh, a guppy item. And in fact, if we get a guppy item, we get the ability to fly already, don't we? Because we uh, are only one guppy item away from becoming guppy who passively has the ability to fly. Anyway, let's see what we got. Half a red heart. We're ready to fight the boss. And it's gonna be uh, the Duke of Flies cheap analog. This is perfect. Well, okay, I got my spirit heart at least. But I was hoping to be able to do damage as well. Finally, we've actually uh, managed to hit the boss here. Now remember, most important thing is just don't take damage here. So I thought about being super aggressive, using bombs, but considering this is the champion version that only shoots bullets, I think we'll be able to get away without, uh, or get away with this without spending any bombs, which is important for me, because you never know if I might want to look for the second secret room on this floor or future floors and etc. etc. So this should end it. Good, good stuff. Watch out for flies. They've been a little bit of a sore spot for you so far. Got a lot of HP back. And even if we can't be optimistic about a deal with the devil, at least a good item. Stack up some good shit and have a better chance. Hey! That's unlikely, so we gotta deal with the devil. And we have enough spirit hearts to take, even if they give us a, a shitty spirit heart deal. Which they did, so we'll reroll both of these, of course. I mean, I love 
I love Common Cold, don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna maximize my chances of getting a guppy item. Yeah, okay. So we'll go with nine lives. Obviously, this puts us in a bit of a difficult situation. I don't really want to pick up Demon Baby. I'd rather have these hearts to back us up for now. Um, ooh, that was scary. But uh, by picking this up, of course, now I have the uh, ability to fly, which means I can go get that Eternal Heart. Pay pays for itself pretty quickly. Gets us our HP back as much as it possibly can. Well, it doesn't really pay for itself because it took a lot of our HP. But you know the drill at this point. So that's sweet. I'm, I'm very happy to have this, as you might expect. Monster Manuel is, you know, it's gone. We're not going to be able to re-roll it into anything else, but that's okay. And you know what? Mom's Purse becoming Guppy, not having bare minimum HP is a pretty good uh, payout for us here. I'm going to keep our key. We'll use it for the next floor, probably for an item room because the shop could have greed, but we'll see. I'd say this run is, uh, you know, coming up Millhouse so far. I would very, very much like to uh, get some more HP, but I can't really complain about where we are, especially offensively. So, Anarchist Cookbook is god-awful, but we are making a pretty good case for the library to uh, be opened now. And we'll be able to re-roll it. Luckily, we found it right off the bat. So, in hindsight, uh, the way that maybe I would have preferred to do that last room, uh, the Deal with the Devil room, I should say, so the last floor, is if, uh, I guess, take Common Cold and then re-roll the quarter. That's the, the best way that it could have turned out, but we had no way of knowing that, you know... We, we could have easily had it so the three spirit heart deal ended up being a guppy item. Which would have been pretty much functionally the same as far as, you know, my eyes are concerned. Another key, always nice. That'll be, uh, you know, earmarked for the shop if we end up being able to actually get 15 cents, just in case. But we do have a lot of golden chests around as well, which is why I'm trying to do uh, my part to look for things like the skeleton key. So Spoonbender is not incredible, but I like it enough. And again, it gives us a better chance of hitting. Our shots don't necessarily do most of our damage. Our flies are responsible for that, but uh, I think it's worth picking up. I had previously expressed to Bizsnap that I thought Spoonbender is not really worth a whole lot after you learn how to actually aim your shots yourself. And he basically said that he still took it, which is pretty much my, like, litmus test for whether or not uh, an item is good in, in Isaac, is, uh, does Biznap still take it? If answer is yes, uh, proceed. So, I'd say this is going very well so far. Blue Candle existing here means that I'm going to reroll it into the compass, and that's wonderful. So we just need a little bit more money. Almost, uh, wanna end up with Pageant Boy. Not something I can say all that often. We're gonna have our boss fight pretty much at the perfect time to ensure that we'll have a reroll available as well. And we could have another deal with the devil. And, you know, we could, if we wanted to, die and, and get a free deal with the devil item for the cost of a life as opposed to the cost of our health. Oh, this is awesome, actually. Flat Penny's beautiful when we also have Guppy's tail. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I really didn't expect to get a deal with the devil on the last floor, but it worked out. Ideally, we could just get another sweet item for the three spirit arts we have. Four spirit, well, five spirit arts we have now, but we'll see if that works out. Nope. Uh, so that's going to be rerolled, and I'll, I'll take the HP. So at this point, we're pretty much committed to not taking future deals with the devil that will kill us, uh, and like, not abusing Guppy's power that way. So unfortunately, I have no idea where our uh, secret room could be. Seriously. Oh my. I'm going to try once more. Yeah, there we go. Third time's the charm. I got one bomb to look for the secret room. That worked out fantastically. It was a throw and a half right there. Let's keep on moving here. We've already been to the left, haven't we? Yes. Uh, I'm going to open that. We need money right now, so this could pay out with money. It did. And uh, above all else, it also gives me more keys. So that's going to give me the compass. We'll just remember to get that before the end of the floor. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. And that one pays out with keys and a bomb as well. Yeah, it's pretty unlikely that these golden chests will ever give me anything worse than what I uh, used to open them at this point. And the more keys we get, the merrier, man. We might be at the point where opening a golden chest is more or less guaranteed to actually give us either an item or uh, a key. Whether directly or via a penny. Or multiple pennies, anyway. Uh, I'm very happy with this. And our flies are they are doing work, man. This is pretty good key situation has sorted itself out pretty damn quickly. We're going to be able to get the compass. We're going to be able to go to the curse room, and why the hell not, right? Seems like a smart idea. We'll lose half of a spirit heart. Might be able to snag a free deal with the devil item. Alright, keys like crazy. Troll bomb. Not that excited about that part. So I'd say this floor has turned out fantastically for us as well. I am still thinking about the secret room and, and where it could possibly be. Could be right here. 
I wish these fucking flies would just die, basically. Um, sure, let's just move along. I'm not going to look for the secret room. Our key situation is already fine. Our money situation is good. We're going to have the compass for the next floor. Then we can look into map or D6 modifications. Nine, uh, nuns habit, 9 volt, etc, etc. But apart from that, what can I complain about right now? Limited HP. Our HP should improve as time goes on. If it doesn't, we might still have a pretty good chance of success. I'm, I'm always a big fan of the guppy runs. Especially if we can stack up even more damage on top of them. But for now. Uh, okay, I hate that. It's Curse of the Labyrinth. Always a little unfortunate, but it's okay. At least it's the depths. At least we have keys. And uh, there is a mini boss, which actually means that greed, if in... Oh, that's not even greed. So this is like the perfect situation. We know that our shop is going to be accessible. Uh, we don't have the money for it yet, but maybe we will at some point. Through a situation like this that also gave us a ton of keys. Um, we'll, we'll handle the situation as it comes, basically. But our shop should be open to rerolls, so we can pretty much get whatever we want. Um, we'll open that. It's a range upgrade. That'll be a reroll for us. Ghost Baby kind of sucks. But it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Let's make our way down to the shop. And we're going to do that as soon as possible. Because we want to have as many rerolls as possible for that. We'll see, though. Careful. Alright, well, we'll continue to be careful. Although, being aggressive has worked out well for us thus far as well. This key situation is, is actually incredible. Getting Flat Penny here helps out a ton. It's Nun's Habit. How could I say no to Nun's Habit? Oh, I get, well, if you don't have enough money, they're saying no to me, right? Not the other way around. And there's another key. Uh, so we don't want to reroll that, which means it's a good thing. You know, we can continue to reroll Ghost Baby instead. And it can turn into pretty much anything, I think. Which is good, you know, it's like a child. You could become, uh, you know, a methamphetamine dealer, or could become President of the United States. It's a, it's a blank slate. Well, you know, sort of. Anyway, I'm not a psychologist, so let's not get into that. But anything could happen here. We could even re-roll it into Monstro's Tooth. Very excited about Monstro's Tooth. It's uh, certainly not the worst space bar item you could possibly hope for. You know, Monster Manuel is is more terrible. By a, a, some degree, at least. Okay, so this is our money and key situation, and possibly HP situation uh, improving here. And we should really maybe wait to gamble until we get Nun's Habit, but we need to gamble in order to have a chance to get Nun's Habit. It's a weird catch-22, isn't it? Alright, so just be cool here. You're creating an enormous fly army every turn. Let's come back here and reroll Monstro's Tooth. We'll pick it up first, though, just so we don't have to see it again. So far, so good, though. And we, we can fight our first boss as well, just in case we want to get a reroll on that item. Brother Bobby. So, Brother Bobby is an item that previously I sort of liked. Yeah, I don't know why I want those to break there. Um, previously, I sort of liked it. Now, not the biggest fan. Because I know it's a special item now. And this should give us enough money to uh, buy Nun's Habit. And then all future Blood Bank rolls can be with the Nun's Habit. Uh, attached to the D6, thereby making it so we have more rerolls in general. But anyway, let's... We need two cents to pay out on one of these. Two cents or more. Well, didn't work out like that, did it? So we'll make our way down here first, unfortunately. Uh, more, oh, more money. That's what we want. I don't really care about the keys anymore. Our key situation is probably sorted more or less for the rest of the run. And we're going to continue to stick with Flat Penny instead of Samson's Lock. Uh, if we have to make the choice. I'm just going to wait till our next, you know, HP comes up. Because I'm, there's no need to backtrack until it's absolutely necessary. Um, and we can't even gamble on our blood bank right now anyway, but we're certainly not going to pick up Brother Bobby considering how many opportunities we're probably going to have in order to, uh, well, we might as well do one more room. How many opportunities we're likely going to have to reroll it, so it seems smart to me to just, uh, not worry about that so much. Yeah, okay. So we'll pick up Nun's Habit, reroll Brother Bobby, play the blood bank once, maybe take care of some of these rooms on the right side, because we haven't even been to the item room yet, that's, that's the important part here. Uh, there's two item rooms totally just w in the wide open space here, which is great. Doctor's remote, it's terrible. We'll reroll that, obviously. Um, but yeah, we have a ton of open space here, and hopefully we don't need to use too many rerolls. But if we do, at least we have the nun's habit backing us up. So, we'll go down and to the left, and... All of our money will go towards picking up this nun's habit, but... Really, uh, the RNG gods have been very, very nice to me on this run. Nun's habit... Mom's purse. Well, I mean, that's mostly it from the shop, isn't it? 
We bought a key from the shop earlier. That might have opened a door that was uh, particularly important. I don't remember, though. Uh, this golden chest is going to pay out with exactly at least as much as we put in. Yeah, plus bombs in addition to it, plus the money that we probably won't use for anything, but it's nice to know that it's there. Uh, yeah, this is just... I mean, I never really realized it. That was terrible. But, uh... I'm gonna go to these item rooms right away. I know I should backtrack and, and get maximum, like, rerolls possible, but I just can't bring myself to waste that kind of time for no reason. We'll still get plenty of rerolls uh, by virtue of our nuns habit. But anyway, um... I forgot what I was gonna say. It was important. Oh, yeah, I never realized how, uh... Nice in concert, or nicely in concert, uh, Flat Penny and Guppy's tail actually seem to work with one another. Golden chests have a tendency to pay out with either keys or individual pennies. Items are actually one of the rarer uh, payouts, even though that's the whole reason you want to get Guppy's tail apart from just becoming Guppy. Um, well, okay. That's a re-rollable situation for sure. We're certainly knocking a lot of books out of here. Alright, well, turns out I'm an idiot because we're going to end up needing to use a lot of re-rolls on this level, but at least we have closer targets now. <clears throat> but yeah, what I was getting at is... Uh, if you can ever find yourself in a situation where you can get Guppy's Tail and Flat Penny, don't underestimate it, because it can really set up an engine to pretty much generate as many keys as you could ever need, apparently. That's awesome. Steven is a great damage upgrade. Um, yeah, we'll play Judgment. We don't have very much money right now, but I expect we can get it to, to pay out over the course of the rest of the floor. Probably. Let's just be cool here. We're already, like... Two-shotting or three-shotting these guys, but the flies are pretty much one-shotting them, which is wonderful. Let's see if maybe we can snag another golden chest here and just have like a mirror image of our other item room. Man, the game is kind of loud right now. I apologize for that. Maybe I can uh, turn it down a little bit for you. I did not even realize. Sometimes spider mon its not that loud. Don't be a big baby about it. I'm talking to myself there, of course. Um, okay, Book of Belial. I mean, Book of Belial's great, but we're going to re-roll it. And I'm probably at this point, I'm going to have to say that 10 bombs is A-OK -okay to be taking, unfortunately. More keys? Hey. So, yeah. Um, I'm content with the way this has worked out so far. We didn't generate quite as many re-rolls as I thought we would, unfortunately. We have five cents to use here. No map, so we're kind of flying blind for secret rooms and thus probably won't look for one, but that's okay. Really? All right, well, you did give me means to get more money, and that's that's sometimes important, so we'll, uh, well, we'll prioritize re-rolling active items first. Do we even have any active items? We have, like, well, we have my best friend, and we have a book, I thought. We have Book of Shadows, yeah. I mean, we don't really need to, we don't gain anything from re-rolling Book of Shadows instead of my best friend, except it doesn't backtrack, uh, or we don't have to backtrack as far, I should say. And there's more money, which means more keys, and we get more rerolls, of course, via the nun's habit. Uh, but what's our item in here? Is this a passive? It's an active. It's in a shitty active. Doctor's remote. I don't remember picking it up, so we'll do that and reroll it quickly. Bum friend. Bum friend is is terrible. I hate it. I I actually think that it's worse than not having it because it's gonna knock our bombs around like crazy and be super annoying to deal with. So let's work our way over here a little bit further. I don't know if we're close to a dead end or something, but man, this has taken us an awfully long time. Wait, that's not the right way. It's taken us an awfully long time to finish off this floor considering the amount of power we have. We're very nearly done with it, I'd have to assume at this point. I don't wanna go play Judgment because I don't wanna do these backtrackings until we're absolutely certain that it's gonna be the last backtrack we have to do over the course of the entire run. The tower card, you know, I'm no big fan of it. We could use it to maybe give ourselves a chance of finding a secret room, but it's pretty unlikely that it's going to work out. But for all the complaining that I'm doing, we're in a really, really excellent position, and I'd be very surprised if we ended up losing on this run. It could happen. And that's not my way of, you know, secretly saying it's not a one run yet. If I wanted to say it, I would just say it. Uh, but this is not a suitable situation for it, I would say, because I feel like we're already in... Uh, a very, very comfortable position, and to hear, like, a millionaire be like, well, I'm not quite sure if I'm set for the future, that dude would sound like an asshole to people. He'd, he'd at least sound out of touch, is what you'd say, probably. That's, like, with Guppy and a decent amount of HP and Nun's Habit attached to the D6 and a lot of Spirit Hearts backing myself up and good damage, you would say. All right, this guy's being facetious, maybe. So, Holy Water, for better or for worse, gives us a convenient reroll target closer to home. I want to use this money on Judgment, so we will be doing one, like, cross-country backtrack here. 
which is also my favorite uh, website for learning about Waffle Houses across the United States of America. But for now, let's come down and uh, we'll see. I mean, I want to explore absolutely cor every corner on the entire map here. And the more money we get, the more keys we get. It's lovely. The better chance we have to get something from Judgment. And maybe we'll use our tower card on the boss, because I could probably find myself in a pretty good position to uh, a pretty good position to hide by virtue of the fact that I can fly. You guys aren't supposed to be able to turn around. I thought we've gone over this like 30 times. You're supposed to just yeah walk the line. I I know I have a reroll. Don't don't kill me. I just want to finish off one of these rooms first, and we'll see if maybe we want to reroll this instead. Okay, th no, this is what I wanted. So we'll backtrack a little bit more again. It's annoying, I understand that. I almost wish at this point that I didn't pick up Lard, because basically the health from Lard ended up getting washed away by that 9 lives pickup, and the speed downgrade is still stuck with me. We did get a speed upgrade at some point, but it's not the same. We could, be, we could have two speed upgrades. I would welcome a speed upgrade at this point. It's really the thing slowing me down the most, which ironically, it's not always. Uh, okay, so Bomb Bag is a takeable item. As you well know, you don't need me to tell you that. We're going to get two more plays on this uh, bad boy up here, at least. And it would be nice if you paid out, like at some point, but you've already given me enough keys that I feel bad asking for anything else. We'll reroll the closest item room we want to reroll, which is going to be the item room. Well, it's not even going to be an item room at all. It's going to be the Book of Shadows pedestal. And hopefully that'll become something. If we ever find a library, well, shit, man, we've taken out, like, almost every single book out of the equation. So I, we've done all the legwork for ourselves already. And we did it in a very, very long-form way. Normally, you can, you know, roll two books at once. We didn't end up being able to do that. Spelunker's Hat. It's okay. I wanted to double-check that room just to see if it would be the second secret room. But I would welcome the secret room or the second secret room at this point. Turn up my volume a little bit now, ironically, because, uh... I need to uh, be able to hear this Blunker's head. Alright, more red hearts means more plays, means more rerolls, fortunately or unfortunately. Come on, just pay out, buddy. You know you want to. We work in concert with one another, that's how this goes. God damn it. Okay, well, we'll do some quick exploration just to see if this is the uh, second secret room area over here. I'm doubting it. It isn't, but at least we know now. And we do have one room that I haven't taken care of yet before the bosses. It's easy enough. Money? Yes. While we're here, I think it would be stupid not to give this money immediately to Judgment. And we'll give more money to Judgment if we have to via this HP that we got that we can use on the blood bank. Uh, okay, well, you fucked yourself. Real sorry about that, but I don't have too much control over it. What was I gonna do? Drop a bomb myself and then kick the other bomb out of there? You did it to yourself? You did. And that's what really hurts. Now, we, uh... We have two more plays on the Blood Bank, which means now we have a reroll that we can use on that item room. Fair to say we haven't got an ideal item so far. Absolutely fair to say that. No secret room yet, huh? That's weird. I would have expected it by now. Maybe it's in one of these rooms up here. Well, two more plays. And please, the HP upgrade. Well, another day, perhaps. It's becoming quite a laborious floor here, but this is how XL floors usually go. Because there's so many moving parts, it typically takes longer to do an XL floor. Uh, at least until you, you know, are using the compass and map to skip half of the floor. Um, on, like, Womb and beyond. Uh, but I think XL floors actually take longer than two times the average length to clear a normal floor. You may disagree. But, uh, you know, you walk to the blood bank, play it a couple times, walk all the way back, reroll some shit. The time adds up here, but we're almost done. So the bean, I mean, we pick it up, we put it back down, up to sundown, see where the bad guys are to be found and make them lay down, but it doesn't really help us out all that much. So given the situation that we're in, we have four more pennies. I think what we do is we start by blowing up this uh, piece of garbage right here. That gives us the umbilical cord, which is absolute trash. Judgment killed himself, so we don't have any money that we can give to them. Oh, we're free? Are you kidding me? We're actually free to, to go finish the floor now. I didn't think that I'd ever see the day, but here we are. And uh, my morale can start coming up again. What do I want to get from a boss? I would love if our first boss was war and paid out with a cube of meat. Because that would give us some extra defense. Very important for late game bosses in the rooms preceding them. And also, if we end up fighting Red Mom, it gives us some extra offensive punch. Not that we'll necessarily need it. Okay, so there's secret room number one. And that contains a lot of money. Which could have gone towards judgment if he hadn't, you know, completely blown himself up. Uh, and we got a ton of keys out of that as well, so the more golden chests, the merrier. Now, second secret room. 
Nope. Nope. It should be here then. Well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. I'm not gonna use the tower card here. I very much came into this room wanting to use the tower card. I've decided against it because uh, positioning is too important here. And Monster 2 is easy anyway. So we get the coin purse. I, I'm scared a little, but let's try it. Balls of steel. Lovely. Bad gas. Not so bad. Speed upgrade. Very important. Tears upgrade. Very good coin purse. Thank you for that. Alright, we do have red mom, so I still... I st why would I walk right into that? Because I was trying to walk away from the center, which is where I assumed that the, the foot would come down. Anyway, it's going to be an easy fight. Hopefully we get something good. If not, we can reroll it. Certainly not going to use the tower card here. HP is still warranted. I would still love to have it. And there it is. So we'll take it. So we want Polaroid. And I'm going to stick with Flat Penny, even though we probably are never going to need more than 24 keys. It just makes me feel better about the whole situation, you know? So, I'm expecting that... Oh, man, we're on Womb XL. That means no, uh... No deal with the devil for us. This is a perfect uh, tower area. Yeah, that was great. Uh, it also means that I'm much more hesitant to actually go and, uh... Let's see what this is. Wheel of Fortune. Could be useful later. I'm much more hesitant to actually go and, uh play the blood bank and then go to the boss trap room and whatnot just because the floor is so large so I, I can't really uh, be excited about doing that if the if it was a regular floor I would probably do it just because it's a nice opportunity and some some cute kind of synergy happens there but I can't really justify it uh, when the floor is so large when we can find our boss so much more quickly the other way this way I should say so we do have spelunkers head it's possible that will end up benefiting us quite nicely here. I don't really care about that key, but I'll pick it up. Why not, right? Oh, wow. Uh, I really expected this to be the way to get to the boss room, but it does not appear so. So maybe, like, even further left might be the way? It appears that it is, which is really great, actually. Do we know? Oh, it's Balls of Steel. Yeah. Um... Because I really don't want to backtrack through the entire fucking map to make this work, but, uh... Careful. Good, 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 good. Uh, yeah, I don't want to backtrack through the entire map to make this work. So hopefully, yeah, there's just a down path here that we can take, and that's good. Alrighty. So... Just lay back. And we will carry this run into greatness. I really don't see a death happening in our future, but it could happen. I think at this point, actually, I prefer, uh, I'm gonna try to get these in the proper order so I don't accidentally, oh, we can't do it that way. Um, I'm gonna take Judas' tongue. Oh, no, there's no point, because I, I could end up, uh, never getting a deal with the devil because of the way that we've got this set up. So this is fine. We'll do it this way. Flat Penny is likely to be substantially more useful anyway. Judas' tongue, if we were on a non-XL floor, we would have taken, but because it's an XL floor, you blew it. You missed your chance, to RNG. That's okay. Who would I like to fight here? Well, I would like to fight death so that I could uh, get a cube of meat. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but Teratoma means we can get something perhaps better than a cube of meat, or perhaps substantially worse, but we got plenty of rerolls if we want them to uh, make something happen here. What do you got for me? It's got to be like HP at this point. Pageant Boy? We can't do that. Meat, we can definitely do. Okay. Mom's Heart Boss Fight, we're going to use bombs because we've got enough. We don't have any special bomb items, but that's okay. Perfect uh, bomb for crowd control there. With meat, uh, our tears and maybe our damage has improved as well, which makes our flies better, either through producing more of them or from our flies being able to do more damage individually. Uh, okay, bad crowd control on that one, but we're going to be thrown a little bit out of rhythm, but that's not so bad. We can recover very easily. More bombs. And again, the more damage you do, the less important it is to save bombs because you get more mileage out of them. You end up having to use less, weirdly enough. And up to the next floor, I'd say. So we're on the uh, cathedral now. And it's Curse of the Lost, which means that uh, it's a little bit larger than your average floor. It should be pretty easy for us to find the boss room, though. My guess is that uh, we'll actually probably have to go uh, up and around here. But I went this way first just to see if we got super lucky. Yeah. The cathedral rarely gives you, like, super benevolent spawns like that. So uh, I'm okay with this. We'll end up having to go up. Like, three or four rooms, and then down to the right. Oh, golden chests. The more the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. 
Uh, it did ruin our half hard interval. Wow, it's gonna be a long trip. We might actually have to come. Uh, you know what? Hurt. Oh, that's gonna take a spirit heart. Smart man. Uh, we might actually end up having to go left here. Yeah, we hit a dead end. That's uh, even a more hellish room layout than usual for a cathedral. That's uh, that's nasty. Good, more keys. Flat penny has turned out to be basically functionally worthless for us thus far. Uh, not on this run, but since the the choice was made to take flat penny instead of Samson's lock, I really thought we'd have more golden chests. But of course, on the run where you don't take uh, flat penny, you'll end up with a hundred golden chests by this point in the game. So we got four spirit hearts in this room, tinted rock, and then uh, a, the greatest golden chest of all time. I mean, what can you even say? Both secret rooms. Come on, Guppy or Gertie Jr. Guppy versus Gertie Jr. I got my two GJs here. Now, second secret room contains a fortune teller, which I'm just going to explode to save myself some time. I know that we could give ourselves um, a better trinket than Flat Penny. That's fine. Not not overly concerned. Now, Dad's key is awful, obviously. So if we pick it up and reroll it, we could get something amazing. One up. I'll take it, just because it gives. It's way better than nine lives. With nine lives, once you're done once, you're done forever. With the one up. Uh, once you're done once, you get one more crack at it, basically. You know, it's reincarnation pretty much equivalent there instead of a uh, much more muted kind of possibility. So, I much prefer the one-up respawns, if possible. Again, the golden chest. So shitty so far. Uh, the other benefit of that secret room is that it allowed me to skip over a lot of... Uh... Oh, that's so good. Okay. Flies will be spawning galore now that we have this uh, sad onion. But anyway... The other great thing about that secret room is it allowed us to skip over a lot of uh, rooms that might have been problematic. At this point, I really feel like uh, we're in a super good position. The real problem with what we've got going on right now is um, it's going to be difficult for us to not take damage against Isaac. But I think we're going to outpace him on damage so much that it doesn't really matter. And then on the on the chest, you know, you get those four golden chests, anything could happen. Especially given the number of rerolls that we have. Don't really want uh, push pin. It's pretty terrible. Occasional spectral tears. I would rather just let my flies do the damage. I mean, it's a weird kind of, not a paradox, but a paradigm. You know, I don't want to pick up a terrible trinket, even though Flat Penny is pretty terrible for me in this situation. But you never know, maybe we'll come across 32 golden chests on the, uh, on the chest. I mean, that's what it's named for, right? It's like Planet of the Apes. There's not one ape in Planet of the Apes. There's many apes. We're looking for Planet of the Golden Chests. Poop. It's pretty bad. Probably should pick it up. Almost can't be arsed. Now. Let's be okay. Well. Not the best time for a golden key to show up. It's okay, though. This should be a super easy finish here. We just hold the button down. Let good things happen. We do have bombs. And actually, we're losing a lot of spirit hearts, so... I'm starting to think that dodging might actually be smart. You know, you might be saying, uh, duh, but, uh, oftentimes, you know, if you try to get a little aggressive with your dodges, it's better to just stand still when you've got a huge rate of fire, but that's only, I think, plausible now that I think about it, when you have a full suite of orbitals, or at least unorbital, which we do not have right now. And once I started dodging, this may surprise you, but I started, uh, not taking so much damage. So, that's good to know. Down to the next floor, and this is pretty much a one run as far as I'm concerned at this point. X-ray goggles, rosary, D20. I picked up the relic, which I probably would have done anyway. Apart from that, I'm going to pick up the rosary. I'll pick up the D20 and then throw it back down. And X-ray goggles are okay. Oh, yeah, I'm taking it. We were going to win anyway. Don't get too salty over it. Uh, I just wanted the damage at this point that this can give me. What do you got for me? Speed upgrade? I'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. We can't bomb our way through the secret room on the chest, so we're just going to have to live with this and go around, but that's okay. Yeah, um, again, apologies for taking Mom's knife, but I almost feel that on the chest, anything goes, man. You get, a, you get a free pass. It's like the fucking purge, you know? Especially considering we basically had already won anyway. I totally forgot. Now we have two Wheel of Fortune cards, so I can go toss one down here and explode this, and then maybe toss the other one down right next to it. I have no idea how to control where the slot machine ends up. Uh, so that's Poison Touch, which is good enough to pick up. And that's uh, the Miter. So <laughs> we got Miter, Relic, and Mom's Knife uh, alone on the chest, which is actually hilarious. Uh, but 
Poison Touch is maybe going to end up being the most valuable of, out of all of those items. Yes, second secret room is there. No, I'm not going to really bother with it at this point. What's the point? Probably should be a little bit less aggressive with that, you know, dodging into enemy situation. Dead Bird? I think it's worth picking up. We're going to take damage on the boss fight. You know, items that... Not very good. Items that are not very good uh, prior to the chest can be better on the chest. Just because you don't have to, they don't have to carry you for very long. Halo of Flies is super amazing. Uh, we needed orbitals, we got orbitals. It's a little late, but uh, happy to have them. Of course. Wow, I can't believe that one poison touch shot was not enough to actually get the job done there. Now, I would prefer to win on this run rather than having to use an extra life. Wow, I don't even know who we killed first here. We probably should have left Gluttony alive and Miter could have given us some... Uh, Reroll opportunities. Well, we do have another reroll opportunity anyway with Mr. Boom here. So, wow, more HP. By Miter giving us reroll opportunities, my brain was on autopilot. What I meant to say was giving us uh, spirit hearts instead of red hearts. We're just going to try to tank this because we have the poison damage and mom's knife at this point. Yeah, we're going to win. All right, uh, that was a great run. Very, very comfortable one. Hope you had a good time. I had a really good time. So, you know, as much as I hope you had a good time, my part of the job has already been accomplished here. As for your job, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.